Level 36, often referred to as the airport or desolate terminal, is one of the most enigmatic and unsettling levels in the backrooms. This level presents itself as a vast, seemingly infinite airport terminal, filled with all the familiar trappings of an airport, gates, waiting areas, food courts, and gift shops. However, beneath this familiar facade lies a desolate and disorienting environment that traps wanderers in a maze of endless corridors and empty halls. The terminal's central hub is an expansive area featuring multiple gates surrounded by rows of waiting seats, tiny cafes, and stores. The floor is made of marble tiles, periodically covered in carpet, while the walls are a mix of clay, plaster, and concrete, all tinged with a sterile white hue. Despite the appearance of normalcy, there's a haunting emptiness to the space. The waiting rooms, filled with metal and upholstered chairs, seem purposeless as no flights ever arrive or depart. Large windows offer a view of an airport runway that extends into the distance, but the outside world remains inaccessible, blocked by indestructible glass. Navigating through level 36 can be disorienting, as stainless steel airport barriers create a labyrinth of meaningless paths. Check-in desks display flight numbers but no destination, and signs in multiple languages, including English, Chinese, Japanese, French, and Spanish, only serve to mislead travelers deeper into the terminal. The layout of the level is deceptively simple at first, with a main corridor connecting various rooms and gates. However, as one ventures further, the architecture becomes increasingly erratic, with overlapping and intersecting spaces that defy logic, often leading to dead ends or strange, isolated rooms. The level's lighting is primarily provided by small fluorescent lights embedded in steel ceiling tiles, along with the glow from various signs. However, the lights frequently flicker, causing sporadic blackouts that can stretch for miles, particularly in the deeper regions of the terminal. During these blackouts, the terminal becomes even more unnerving as entities may lurk in the darkness, though such encounters are rare. These blackouts are believed to be caused by the minimal electricity flowing into level 36, with the deeper areas receiving even less power. Some observers have reported hearing buzzing sounds near walls and ceilings, possibly from hidden power generators, and have spotted electric poles around the runway, suggesting some form of power supply is present though its source remains unknown. Despite the unsettling atmosphere, level 36 maintains an unnaturally clean appearance. The marble floors are always shiny and slippery, as if they have just been cleaned. Any dirt or mess that appears is mysteriously cleaned up as soon as it is out of sight, reinforcing the level's eerie, automated nature. However, the food and drinks left scattered around the terminal are far from safe. Most are spoiled, having expired long ago, and some are even poisonous, containing dangerous chemicals like cyanide. Wanderers are advised to avoid consuming any food found on tables or floors, as it could be fatal. Large cafeterias are scattered throughout the terminal, housing a mix of restaurants and convenience stores that seem to be derived from the front rooms. Each cafeteria has a unique arrangement of eateries, with chairs and tables that exude a sense of emptiness. These areas are often the only places where clothing, bags, and other personal belongings can be found, as if the previous occupants suddenly vanished, leaving everything behind. The meals in these cafeterias are usually unfinished and expired, with half-empty cups and deformed paper straws left behind. Despite the desolation, some utilities, like drinking fountains dispensing fresh almond water and vending machines offering safe-to-consume almond water, energy drinks, and energy bars, are functional and free to use. The ventilation system in level 36 is another curious feature. It extends as far as the terminal itself, twisting and turning in random directions. Despite its complexity, the vents are remarkably clean and large enough for a person to crawl through, though they are too small to stand upright. The fans inside the vents spin rapidly, potentially blocking certain paths, but many wanderers use the vents as a shortcut to navigate through the terminal. However, the system lacks lighting, so bringing a light source is essential. Entities may also inhabit the vents, and strange noises could indicate that something is lurking nearby. As one travels deeper into level 36, the environment begins to change. 
the terminal's boundaries start to blur and the architecture becomes increasingly unstable, glitching, and distorting in ways that are hard to comprehend. This area, known as the absolute limit, is where the level's reality seems to break down entirely. Wanderers here report feelings of unease and disorientation as the space becomes more corrupted and labyrinthine. The deeper one goes, the less the surroundings resemble an airport, with strange, ethereal structures and glitches appearing more frequently. The absolute limit is a place of intense speculation among those familiar with the backrooms. Some believe it offers evidence that the backrooms are truly infinite, with no escape back to the real world. Others think it might be part of a larger simulation, with level 36 serving as a gateway to other, unknown levels. There are even theories that the absolute limit might be connected to the concept of level infinity, a supposed level that was believed to offer a way out of the backrooms. However, all attempts to find an exit here have failed, with those who venture too far often disappearing without a trace. Recent research suggests that the deeper portions of level 36 can cause hallucinations, with wanderers reporting seeing glitches, corrupted images, and even visions of their ancestors. These experiences can lead to paranoia, depression, and other mental illnesses, with no known way to prevent these effects other than to retreat to safer areas of the terminal. The level also has a mimetic effect on technology, causing devices to malfunction, with corrupted files and ciphered messages appearing on screens. These messages are believed to be linked to the hallucinations and might be attempts at communication from an unknown entity or race. Entrances to level 36 can be found by entering certain airport buildings in other levels, not clipping through emergency doors, or even hallucinating an airplane in specific areas. Exiting the level is equally challenging. Overflowing a sink in one of the terminal's restrooms and submerging one's head in it may transition the wanderer to level 37. Alternatively, pairs of oddly pristine glass doors, often accompanied by a sign indicating a hotel entrance, can lead to level 42. However, finding these exits is difficult, and many wanderers remain trapped in the endless, desolate terminal of level 36. In conclusion, level 36 is a haunting and perplexing environment within the backrooms, filled with eerie silence, deceptive architecture, and unsettling mysteries. For those who find themselves here, it is a place of isolation and confusion where the boundaries of reality blur and escape seems impossible.